The goal that gave Japan the all-important win against Spain has been a huge cause of debate for days now, and that inspired us to look at some other controversial goals that have been scored at the FIFA World Cup. But just before we get into the list, we want to introduce you to one of our major sources for football news, gist, and insider scoop. One Football is your one-stop shop for everything football related. Live scores, transfer news, general football updates, literally everything. Also, you can follow your favorite club and favorite players and get all the latest updates about them as a notification from the One Football app. So what are you waiting for? Click on the link in the description to download the One Football app. Um, you're welcome. Here are seven of the most controversial goals at the FIFA World Cup. Number one, Ayo Tanaka vs Spain. Japan completed two upsets in the group stages of the World Cup, first beating Germany and then beating Spain to secure top spot in a group with two former world champions, but their win against Spain did not come without controversy. The winner came from a cross which was put into the six-yard box after the ball had almost completely gone over the line for a goal kick. From all the angles that were shown in the replay during the match, the ball had completely crossed the line, but the argument was that the angle being used was the one directly above the ball, but we were not provided with that view during the match. After minutes of VAR review, the goal stood, and it was enough for Japan to secure top spot in Group E. But no matter how controversial that goal is, it has nothing on the one Diego Maradona scored many years ago. Number 2. The Hand of God we surely all know the story of this one. Maradona put the ball in the back of the England net with his hand to open the scoring in the quarterfinal of the World Cup in 1986. At first, it looked like nothing was wrong with the goal to people watching at home, but once the replay came on, everyone saw that England had been robbed. Maradona would go on to score the goal of the century to seal the victory for the Argentinians, but it was still hard for the English fans and players not to feel cheated by a goal that clearly should never have stood, not anywhere and certainly not on the biggest stage of all. But England themselves were once beneficiaries of a controversial goal at the World Cup. Number 3. Wembley Goal In 1966, England hosted and won the World Cup for the first and only time so far, but they were given a huge helping hand by the ref in the final against West Germany, or perhaps we should say, the linesman. Jeff Hurst, who had scored England's equaliser in normal time, was the one in the middle of the controversy. The game was tied at 2-2 at full time, so it went to extra time. In the first half of extra time, Hurst's goal-bound right-footed shot hit the bar, bounced down, and then was immediately cleared by a German defender. At first, the referee blew for a corner, but upon protest from the English players, he went on to confer with his linesman, who told him that the ball completely crossed the line, so he changed his decision and awarded England the goal. Hurst would go on to complete his hat-trick in that game to deliver the World Cup to England and make him the only man so far to score a hat-trick in the World Cup final. His second goal of that trio was regarded as the most controversial goal of the World Cup, at least until 20 years later. Number 4. Ronaldo Penalty Against Ghana Ronaldo converted a penalty against Ghana in Portugal's opening game of the 2022 World Cup to make him the first man to score in five World Cup tournaments, but while that record is obviously fairly impressive, fans were not exactly impressed by how the penalty came about. To put it simply, Ronaldo took a dive as Salisu had obviously got to the ball first, but the referee fell for it. What seemed to sicken Ghana fans and the neutrals even more was that the referee refused to go to VAR to review his decision. The Ghanaians probably felt worse because they ended up losing that game by just that one goal margin. That penalty made a huge difference. And honestly, it brings into question the decisions which have been made at the World Cup so far. Because the penalties which were awarded to Bruno Fernandes against Uruguay and Lionel Messi against Poland should definitely not have stood, but they did. And you know what's worse? In these two instances, the referee did go to review the decision on the monitor. Number 5. Offside Tevez goal against Mexico In the 2010 World Cup, Carlos Tevez scored two goals against Mexico in the round of 16. The second was an absolute screamer, no questions at all about its legitimacy. But the first? Surely it should not have stood because he was offside when the ball was played to him by Messi. Yes, back then there was no VAR, but it just felt like something the linesman should have caught in real time because Tevez was standing in an offside position for quite some time before the ball came to him. Argentina would, however, go on to win the game 3-1 and advance to the quarter-final, where they were humiliated by Germany. Some would say it was karma, and you can't really argue with that. 
Number six, France penalty against Croatia. We'll agree that this is the most arguable one on the list today, but we believe France should not have been awarded a penalty in the World Cup final against Croatia back in 2018. Yes, the ball hit the Croatian defender's hand, but he wasn't aware of it. The distance was very close and his hand was not so far away from his body. So because of these three reasons, we believe that a penalty should not have been awarded. But the referee went to the monitor, awarded the pen and Griezmann converted it. And the rest, as they say, is history. Number seven, Hand of Frog. This one didn't happen in the World Cup proper, but it's just so controversial that it had to feature in this video. It was the goal that took France to the 2010 World Cup. France had sunk so low in 2009 that they left it as late as extra time of the second leg of a playoff game against the Republic of Ireland to qualify for the 2010 World Cup and even then, they couldn't secure their ticket without controversy. The game was tied at 1-1 over the two legs, so it went into extra time in Paris. A free kick was played into the Irish box and the ball was sure to go out for a goal kick, but Thierry Henry handled the ball, not once, but twice, before playing the pass to William Gallas, who scored the goal that took France through. What name was then given to that largely controversial goal? Well, the hand of God was already taken, so fans and the media decided to name it the Hand of Frog. The backlash Henri got after the goal made him consider retiring from international football immediately, but we're pretty sure the Irish preferred that he didn't and instead went on to lead Les Bleus to what is probably their worst ever World Cup outing to date. Leaving South Africa with no point, just one goal scored, an insane amount of drama and controversy. These are basically some of the most controversial goals we have seen at the World Cup. Are there any that we've missed? And oh, there are some which should have been goals but were controversially ruled out. Most famous of those is Lampard's goal goal against Germany when the ball obviously crossed the line completely but it wasn't awarded as a goal by the ref or the linesman. We also have to mention Enna Valencia's headed goal against Qatar in the opening game of the 2022 tournament which was disallowed by the ref. Which of all these goals including the disallowed ones would you say was the most controversial? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.